Alright, so I've been working on this off and on for about three days now, and I uh, just wanted to give you an update on what I'm doing with it. I've got the uh, the uh, chain stay here. I've got that all filled in with Bondo and sanded down nicely. Now, I've also transitioned from the bottom bracket area up into the, uh, the seat tube here, and you can see this nice fairing here. And I just use some Bondo and um, sanding blocks and stuff. Now I do all this stuff by hand, that's why it takes me so long, because when I use power tools, I seem to uh, to grind too much away usually. So I prefer to use uh, sanding blocks. Also if I if I sand something and I don't like it, I'll add more bondo to it, sand it some more, add more bondo to it, sand it some more. So it can be a time consuming process. But it's better to spend the time on the plug now than have to worry about it later. So uh, let me show you what I've got here. This is the uh, the head tube. This is uh, what I've been spending a lot of my time on. Um, I've been having a hard time transitioning these uh, two inch cups down to the one and a half inch frame. So originally I was just gonna have this come back straight across for, for aerodynamics, but uh, don't like the way it looks. It just really looks weird. So I've, got, I've gone ahead and I filled all this in and I'll probably put some more Bondo on it, fill in some of these gaps and then I'll actually shape this so it makes a nice hourglass figure here, if you know what I'm talking about. If not, uh, you'll see it in a little bit because I'm going to work on that now and and um, then I'll fill you in. Uh, just to kind of give you an idea, these are the tools that I'm using. Just a uh, sanding block like this, just a small 3M one, rubber one. Um, sometimes I'll put a piece of sandpaper on the back side here. Uh, you can see I've cut these uh, 3M letters off so it's a nice rounded area and then just a file. This works really good for getting the big chunks of Bondo off. And then I'll just transition to one of these other ones. Um, I do all of my sanding in uh, 60 grit. And the reason why is because uh, when I use the, uh, the Duratec primer on this, uh, you, can, you can use a heavy grit. I think they recommend 80, but I've used 60 before and it's, it hasn't been a problem. I'll just put it on real thick and sand that down smooth and polish it. So anyway, we'll get to all that, but I just want to give you a quick update. Alright, so today I'm just filling in the hollow points of the, uh, the head tube. Um, when we create the mold, uh, we can't have any... Um, holes like this so what I've done is I've just taken some some blocks here and just put some some clear packaging tape on there the Bondo can't stick to it so it works out really well um, but once I've done that you can see here this one's done it's a nice smooth surface I'll probably sand this down a little bit but anyway that's it for this and then um, what I'll do next is just fill in all the little holes that I've got with some professional glazing putty, which is kind of like Bondo but thinner. And then I'll fasten the plug to, to a board so we can create a female mold off of it. So anyway, I'll uh, get to that point and then update you on what's going on. All right, so I originally said that I was going to use some professional uh, glazing putty, which is kind of like Bondo, but it's a, it's a little thinner filler. And um, anyway, I decided just to use some regular glazing and spotting putty on this. Um, sometimes it's easier to work with, sometimes it's not. But it's a nice sunny day, so I figured I'd use it. So basically all I've done is I've wiped it on the areas um, where the particle board had kind of chipped away. So there's that. And I filled in a lot of the holes, so uh, this spot here is for the... Uh, the front derailleur because um, if I just do it normal the chain stay would, would block it from from changing into the smaller ring so I had to make a little cut out there don't know if I ever explained that to you so anyway here's uh, um, the plug before the uh, final sand and um, I'll get it ready to to mount onto uh, to some plywood